Let him go. You've been caught. Yeah. You can't attack him no more. He knows Jesus. I'm good, yeah. <laughs> you sure? Yeah, I'm straight. You sweating, bro. There's something There's something you've been holding on to for a minute, right? Yeah. They've been messing with you, right? Made you feel disappointed in yourself, right? Yeah. Do you know what that was? What's up guys? Listen, we are back down here at Daytona Beach. I think it's spring break, but it's not like super spring break down here. People went to other places, but it's still some, some folks here enjoying spring break. So I see some young people. I see all ages actually. So I believe Jesus has something in store. He always does, right? We just, we needed to come and get some, some good stuff for you guys. I'm interested to see what the Holy Spirit is gonna do. I know he's going to do something amazing and yeah. <laughs> Guys, I love you. I'm glad that you're here. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be amazing. People are going to be touched, changed, transformed for the glory of Jesus Christ. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Like and share because you care. And let's see what's about to happen in Jesus' name. Hey, listen, when we evangelize, you got to be fearless. You can't care what people think. So, if, you know, you'll look at somebody sometimes. You'll be like, oh, do I go up to them or not? It don't matter. Just go up to them and say, hey, Jesus loves you. No. Say you got pain in your body. You got anything you need prayer for any of that, or just say, God bless you, whatever. Don't worry about the reaction that you're gonna get. Enjoy the fact that you're about to impact the life for Jesus Christ. Every time you say the name Jesus, you shift something in the realm of the spirit in their life. So the name Jesus is the name above all names, right? He's above all powers, principalities, dominions, rulers, whatever, he's above it all. So since he has presiding rule over all of that, that means when you say his name, everything has to obey. A lot more is happening than you know when you say the name, Jesus Christ. Is that okay? Is it cool? Oh, yeah, we're going to be on YouTube. Is that okay? Is that right? You do music, huh? That's crazy. Okay. So we're out here praying for people, bro. And I was just wondering if you wanted anything specific. Yeah? My man, my man. Praise the Lord. Okay. Okay, quick. Okay. Anything specific? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to get you, bro. I got some Jesus. Pray for, like, for us, all of us to stay focused on all our dreams or whatever we want to do in life. Okay. So, are, do you, are you out here from out of state? Like no, I'm, I'm from Ocala. Yeah, you from Ocala? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right yeah. down the street. I'm yeah, two, hours two hours away. Two hours away. Three hours away. It's like three. Like right? Two. Two, two. Okay. So, I do just do a, a general prayer. All right, yeah. that's good. Cool. This is your little brother right here? Yeah, this is my little brother right here. Okay, fire. I'm going to pray for him and I'm going to pray for you. Okay, right. what's your name? It's Malik. Malik? Yeah. Heavenly Father, I thank you for Malik. Hold on, bro. Are you a Christian? Yeah. I'm yeah? not a pastor, bro. Ah. <laughs> I feel like, you know, the little anointing. I got I feel a little anointing when I touched yeah. the man. He said his dad's a pastor? Yeah, yeah, he said his dad's a pastor. You're a whole athlete, bro. Yeah. A whole athlete. You're going to be D1? Yeah. Sure, Are you really? Yeah. What school? So UCF. Ah, yeah. I grew up in O. Okay, okay then. I grew up in Orlando. Okay, but so, so let me ask you a question. Have the, has the Holy Spirit? Have you ever experienced the Holy Spirit? Have like you ever been touched by the Holy Spirit? Keep it on him. A couple of times in church, yeah. 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 When was the last time that happened? I ain't gonna lie, it's been a little minute. Been a little minute. Been a little minute. Like, would you like? Would you? Would you like that to happen now? So yeah. 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 Say this. Say Jesus. Jesus. Here I am. Here I am. Fill me, Fill me and touch me, and touch me. with the Holy, Spirit. the Holy Spirit. Have your way. Have your way. And mark me. And mark me. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I'm gonna pray now, okay? Amen. And just receive, bro. If you feel it, you don't. If not, it's okay. Tell me your name one more time. Malik. Malik. Heavenly Father, I thank you for Malik. I thank you for his life. Father God, you you indicated to me, you showed me that this man had anointing on his life. There was oil on his life. So Father God, I say right now in Jesus' name, Holy Spirit. Reveal to him how close you really are to him. Right now, touch him. More. 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 Every nick and cranny of his body, Lord, show him that you never left. Right now, touch him. Receive, bro. It's okay, man. Receive. Hey, I feel like saying, man, forgive yourself, bro. Yeah. 
You got you got to let go of what you did in the past. You're not a disappointment. You're not a failure to your parents or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? You got to you got to let go of the thing that you've been holding on that's making yourself angry, bro. You've allowed a spirit of anger to come into your life and you know it. And it's made you disappointed. I want to pray real quick with him. We want to pray that this spirit of anger will leave your life. Is that cool? All right, yeah, let us pray. Go. Yeah. Oh, we can pray together. Huh? Stay close. Ready? Watch this. Say, Lord, Lord I forgive myself, I forgive myself for, the past. for the past. I'm not a disappointment. I'm not a disappointment. I'm worthy. I'm worthy. I want every demonic attack. I want every demonic attack. That has been holding me down. That's been holding me down. To release me now. To release me now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I can feel that it's something right here. Come out of his body now. Let him go. Let him go. You've been caught. Yeah. You can't attack him no more. He knows Jesus. And he know you know he's gonna serve the kingdom. So I command this demonic force. Let him go. And let him feel you come out of his body. Up and out. Up and out. This spirit of anger that's been inside of him. This spirit of dis is coming out of him, man. Yeah. yeah. I can feel it. It's coming out your back. Hold on. Up and out of him. Up and out, all the way. Yeah, all the way. It's, it's going, bro. Yeah. It's okay, but we got. It's you, all right. Man. It's all right. It's the Holy Spirit. Oh. It's the Holy Spirit. You good? I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> you sure? Yeah, I'm straight. You sweating, bro? I'm good. You sweating heavy. Look at me, man. Look <laughs> yeah. at me, man. See freedom. Look at me, man. You good? Yeah. Hey, there's something. There's something you've been holding on to for a minute. Right? Yeah. They've been messing with you, right? Made you feel disappointed in yourself, right? Yeah. Do you know what that was? It's a lot. A lot? You need, you need to take this heavy responsibility off of yourself, man. You can't do it in your own strength. Only God can. It's not about religion, it's about relationship. You know that. Start talking to God again. I feel like you've been distant from him for a minute. He's calling you back, man. He wants you back. He loves you. Right? Yeah. Hey, look, you can't get away. You st your dad's a pastor, right? Yeah. Look, you are what I call Holy Ghost messed up. There's nothing you can do about it. Amen. You're marked. One day, you will pastor too, but you got some stuff to do right now. God's going to use you in special arenas and stuff. You know, you're going to do a lot with sports and all that, but what's going to do is you're going to come on the other end. I need to tell you this too, though. Remember Samson. He got took down by Delilah. Always be aware of Delilah. She wants to steal what you have. Delilah wants to steal what you have. Look, she loves to take the anointing from men of God. That's, Is that right? Yeah, man. Watch out for the ladies, bro. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth it, man. That's what I say. Yeah. I've been bit by that snake, too. Don't worry. <laughs> Just be careful. Point, yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing watch point, it. Watch yeah. it. Because, look, they, if, if they got daddy issues, they want you to save them. You know that. Yeah. You can't be Mr. Save a girl, man. One more prayer. <laughs> Lord, I pray right now today that the Holy Spirit is confirming to him that Jesus is after him. Holy Spirit, I pray that you mantle him. I pray today that these disappointments won't follow him. There's by no chance that he is here getting prayed for. So I pray right now, Lord, you utilize him for your glory. I pray right now, angels surround him, protect him, and keep those snakes away. In Jesus' name, amen. Nice to meet Appreciate you. It. Ron Carpenter. Ron Carpenter. There's like a bunch of people over there. Excuse me, guys. Really, really quick. Can I Is it okay we record? Is that okay? Oh, it's a YouTube channel. Got like 200 plus thousand subscribers. The other one has like a million, almost a million. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. So like... I feel like it's deep. I feel like it's deep. I feel like, and yeah, I feel like you already know. I feel like it's obvious. If it's not, the Lord's speaking to you guys. But you guys do a lot to cover up the pain in your heart. Like, this pain, bro. And I don't know, I, and I look at you, I feel like there was a bad breakup. Like, I feel like there was a bad, you, you were in a relationship and it got sticky, it got kind of ooky. You know what I'm saying? And like, you still kind of recovering from that. Is that true? Yeah. So like, the Holy Spirit speaking, bro. On gang, I'm not just messing. I'm not messing around with you, bro. The Holy Spirit, like, I promise, sound crazy, right? I know it sounds. I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know.
don't know how you got that. That's Jesus, bro. I feel your heart, bro. I, f I literally, as we're speaking, I feel your heart. The Lord will allow me to feel the pain of people sometimes just from interacting with them. You know what I'm saying? And like, when I looked at you, I felt, because I've been in a situation similar to that, and I felt like like you were dragged through the mud, bro. And I felt like and I felt like you you got hurt, bro. But you but you the type of dude to not show it. And you be the type of dude to be for your you be there for your homies. This is your friend, right? Yeah. He be there for his homies. Yeah. But like no one really be checking up on you for real. Very few people. Very, very few people check up on you, really care for your well-being. But the Lord sent some random dude who don't know you. I don't know who you are. I don't even think I got your name. I don't even know your name, but I know what, what happened to you. There's a reason for that, bro. He's not calling you to religion, bro. He's not calling you to live a fake facade life. He's not calling you to live church. I was blowing down all the time, bro. All the time. I was a plug. I was blowing down apes for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, bro, in the backwood, bro. Throw some gravel in it, too. Like, cause I just wanted to, I just wanted to feel nothing, bro. I just wanted to be numb. I got to a point. You know how people be like, people be like, oh, I got used to weed. Like, bro, I lived in Cali. I tried Cali weed. I tried Colorado weed. I tried the Moon Rocks. Like, it was just like, to the point where I had to go to like cocaine. Started doing cocaine, and then cocaine was like, I started doing acid, Xanax, lean. And that's when I was like, all right, this is, this is decent. I can, but I had to do like all three of them at the same time. You know what I'm saying? They even like be chilling. You know what I'm saying? So like, I know about that pain. That's why I feel like I can, I can speak to you on this like this. The Lord is calling you to Him because this world will not give you anything you're really looking for. And you're kind of like a soldier just walking on the, on the road, bro, not knowing where you're going. You might have these plans, you might have these aspirations to run it up, but like, then you get there, then what? You know what I'm saying? You still have to heal from this, bro. You still have to receive, you still have to receive the touch of God for this. Or you'll bleed on everyone else around you. You probably have been like, you probably, and this is like, probably going, I'm the editor, so I'm probably going to edit this out, but like, I feel like you've been like, you've been like stone cold with women. And you've been like, like, yo, talk to them, do what you got doing. you just like, even if she's a good girl, not even realizing you bleeding on everyone behind you, bro, because of what happened before. So now it's affecting everyone else. And even now, like, even with your homies, you kind of like, like you're going to stink me, you're going to bite my, you're gonna, you know what I'm saying? You're kind of like, you don't even have true peace. Jesus wants to save you today, bro. He wants to deliver you from that, if you're open to that, if you're willing. Are you open to that? Yeah? I'm not telling you 10 ways to go to church. I'm not inviting you to my church. I travel all the time. He's building a church in the summer, but it's not even really built yet. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So like, it's not about that. It's about your soul being saved and you experiencing true freedom, true love. Are you open to that? Yeah. Yeah? What's your name, bro? Daryl. 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 Okay. Isaiah. Say this prayer with me, bro. And then I'll pray for you. So say this prayer. Say, Jesus, forgive me. I heard your word. Save me. I want you to fill me. I want you to change me. Make me a son. And let me live with you in your presence the rest of my days on earth and into eternity. I love you, Jesus. Thank you. In Jesus' name. We're saved, bro. That's it. Now I'm going to pray for you. Okay? I'm going to pray. Say this last thing. Say this. Say, Jesus, fill me. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I'm going to pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for Darrell. Darrell, right? Darrell. Darrell. Darrell or Darrell? Darrell. With a J. Yeah. Darrell. Father, I thank you for Darrell. Right now, in Jesus' name, I command the spirit that entered through that traumatic event with that woman. Leave this man right now. Okay. In Jesus' name. I'm standing here on the outside looking, bro. You can't tell me you didn't feel something almost come over you, bro. <laughs> I feel the stomach in my stomach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was watching you, man. It's like, you didn't you didn't see that thing look no, at you? I, I did. I'm, I'm over here talking to the spirit. It's like he's still holding on, though. It's like he's like, he's like gripping a yeah, little bit. Let, let me take it a little deep. I didn't hear anything y'all said, right? I, I, I'm going to ask you a, a transparent question, all right? This is a normal struggle for everybody in the world. Have you had trouble? You believe in Jesus? Have you had trouble overcoming things in the night? Like when you get ready to go to bed, you feel this strong urge to look up stuff sometimes. Like you feel something, it's like here, 
and it wants to pull you the wrong direction. I'll even take it deeper for you. When you're around certain females, you feel like this, this tickle in your belly, this pull in your belly. You never felt that? Never at all? Because I'm t I think what's in your stomach is what's called an unclean spirit. And what it does is it can like try to demolish and attack your life. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I was kind of seeing when he was praying. But I didn't know what y'all talked about. Yeah, he, was, he was in a bad, he had a bad breakup with a girl. All right, so I'm on it a little bit then. And I'm sure y'all kind of hooked up in some yeah. way, right? At some point. Then that could be a, a relational thing. That could be like a soul tie thing. Where you, it's hard for you to let go. Does that yeah. make sense? He just gave his life to Christ and he was struggling to even forgive her. Really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, he had to like can, can I pray for you? That'd be alright? It's all love, bro. <laughs> What's your name, man? I'll I'll be quick, man. I'll be so quick. Here, hold this while I pray for this guy. Real quick, can I touch your stomach? I command right now in Jesus' name this attack that came. It's actually a witchcraft attack. I command it to come up and out of your body now. I command the thing that's been following the bloodline of your family, of your father's bloodline, I command it to be broken. I command that spirit of sabotage that's been coming against the family, I command it to go too. Now that unclean spirit that's been attracting him to the wrong people, come up and off of his body now and release him. Let him feel you leave in Jesus' name. I'm going to blow on you real fast, man. <sighs> come out of his stomach all the way, all the way. And I feel like he's been causing you sometimes some stuff back here. I command right now any pain in his back anything that's been causing things in the bottom of his spine. I command it to be completely healed. I command him to be made brand new. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Amen. You ever dealt with that? Any tension in the back sometime? Not much? Pretty relaxed most of the time? Okay. Love you, bro. God bless you, man. Bless you, bro. Bless you, bro. We're going to pray. Pray like 10 times tonight. We're gonna I preach you, you wanna the gospel. Are you this is not. Are you ready? This is not. It's called a spirit. I'm high, so I know this is a weird question, but do you need prayer for anything? <laughs> that's really not. That's I, mean, not, just not. That's <laughs> I just know. <laughs> I'm always like, pretty? am I on it or am I on it? Go get the You're running it. away. I have a random question for y'all. We have a YouTube channel, and we were wondering if you wanted to answer some questions for us. We almost have like a million subs, so like it's, it's kind of cool. Yeah, you're down for it though? She's like speaking for the whole group. She's like, yeah. I'm not saying anything. Yeah. Okay, first question. Do you believe in the supernatural? Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you say yes? Yeah. What about you? I have no comment. On no this. comment? You? No, no comment. She's like, no, and you. I, I really don't know. Like, yes and no. Yeah? So you say yes. Can I ask you why you said yes? I honestly could not tell you. Yeah? <laughs> yeah? So have you ever had any supernatural experiences? Not at all. Not at all. No. 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 What if I told you that I had a supernatural experience and I encountered like a ghost? Like what would you say to that? I would believe you. I you would believe you? Yeah, I believe you. Yeah. So even if you haven't like had the supernatural experience, you're like, no, like I believe in that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So would you like to hear about my supernatural experience? Our whole YouTube channel is called The Supernatural Life. So like I'm going somewhere with this. All right, so this might resonate with you guys. Three years ago, I was gonna end my life. Like I know that went deep, but like I was gonna end my life. I didn't really believe in anything and I just was like, I'm out. You know, like I, I was actually diagnosed with chronic depression and anxiety and PTSD because I went through like trauma. Literally the week that I started planning on how to do it, a ghost, like I told you, it came into my living room and it freaked me out. But when the ghost spoke to me, who do you think it was? Did anybody have a guess? Holy Spirit. Okay, okay. That sounded kind of churchy. Hey. <laughs> so, so you're actually on it. It was Jesus. And it was funny because like I knew it was him before he even like said something to me. But what he told me is like, have you guys ever heard like Jesus died on the cross for your sins? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So he died on the cross. He rose on the third day. He's alive. He's seated at the right hand of the father. Right. So he tells me this, but he says, you know, you've heard that your whole life. Right. That I died. So you could go to does anybody know heaven. heaven when you die. And I was like, OK. And he said, but I didn't just do that so you could go to heaven. And I was like, what do you mean? He said, I don't want you to live in hell on earth. So stay with me. When he touched me, demons came out of my body. 
like evil spirits and I felt them leave. Things that were like telling me that I was dumb and not worth it and like stupid. I mean, it was a lot worse than that, but I'm kind of like making it PG, you know? So with that being said, when he touched my life, I experienced something supernatural. Like I met God face to face, you know what I'm saying? And then I opened up the Bible for the first time and everything he told me was like written down. So I knew that he was real, he was alive, and he's the one true God. So I'm like, your answer was churchy. So like, are you a Christian? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Were you raised in church? Yes. Yeah. All of you? Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. Are you related? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yes. Basically. Yeah. I was like, you guys kind of have a similar like vibe. Oh, she's like, like four foot. Aww. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! And any comments on that? I, well, I mean, I'm not related, but... <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are so silly. So that being said, that's uh, my TED talk for you guys. With that being said, I would love to pray for y'all, for you to experience the tangible presence of God, even if you do believe. I just believe that the Lord has such a plan for you guys. And it's, I keep looking at you because it's funny. Uh, tell me if I'm wrong. You feel shy. Like you're kind of an isolated person. But when you're around your friends or family, you're actually really extroverted. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. She's loud. Yes. Do you know what an evangelist is? Have you ever heard of that term before? So do you guys remember the story of the woman of the at the well in the Bible? She was what we call like the first major evangelist and she was a woman. So what she did after Jesus encountered her, she ran to the town, told them the gospel and all of them were one to, tr to Christ, right? So what I hear the Lord telling me is although you think you're shy and introverted, you're actually, you have the call of the evangelist on your life. You'll be a bold preacher. So I'm prophesying this over you because God is letting me see that about your future. Yeah. You guys are special, you know that? You're not just some random chicks who play, it looks like volleyball. Yeah. I, was a, I, was a, I was a college athlete, I was a softball player. So I feel like we had like a similar kind of like, yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That similar, I don't know what the world calls it, like energy. But it is, it's like a, it's like a spiritual thing when you're drawn to people, right? Mm -hmm. So I would love to pray for y'all and for God to just touch you. Would you be open to that? Yeah. Can we hold hands? <laughs> like I know I'm holding a microphone. <laughs> Can you guys say this? Say Jesus. Jesus. We love you so much. We love you so much. You are everything. You are everything. You are our Lord. You are our Lord, Lord and our Savior. And our Savior. We just, we give it all to you, Jesus. We give it all to you, Jesus. Say, use me. Use me. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Set me on fire. Set me on fire. To preach the gospel. To preach the gospel. To my generation. To my generation. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Touch me now. Touch me now. Fill me with your presence. Fill me with your presence. And fill me with your peace. Fill me with your peace. All right, I'm going to pray now, okay? Father, I thank you for my beautiful sisters, Lord. I thank you that you never have a coincidence. You're so intentional, God. These are mighty women of God. I pray right now that you would touch them, fill them with your spirit, fill them with your presence, fill them with your pyre, your fire, Lord. <laughs> From the crown of their head to the soles of their feet, Lord. They're so beautiful, God. I ask that you would keep encountering their heart, God, and show them that they are meant for so much more. They're meant to be used. They are a light set on top of a hill. It's not about the way they look. Lord, I ask that you would show them not to compare themselves. God, I ask that you would encamp angels around them to show them how beautiful they are, how unique they are, that they don't need to be like the world because they are not of this world. They are citizens of heaven. Bless my friends, Lord. Show them the way. Thank you, Jesus, in your name. Amen. Amen. Now, did you feel anything as I prayed for you guys? Yes. Chills. Yes. Chills. Yes. Chills. 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 Well, with that being said, I know you guys know Jesus. You know the gospel. You, you just prayed a pretty bold prayer. God is going to use you guys. Like I said, you guys are not normal. Like, be encouraged, you know? Like, God has a really big plan for your life, and it's not just to sit in the back of a church, you know? Yeah. Be safe, okay? God bless you guys. Thank Have you a good so night, much. okay? Yeah. Bye. That was so good though. It, it's really cool to see young people just like profess Christ like that. Like all of them just said something even if they don't totally understand what they just said, like God's gonna use them in a mighty way. Yee, I can't wait! Maybe they'll have their own YouTube channel one day. <laughs> Shabbat! They're all believers? Yeah. Y'all love Jesus? Yeah. 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 Are, you, are you picking anything up? No, I just wanted to ask you, I mean you've already talked to him, right? Yeah. yeah but they're open though, they're open. Yeah, they're open. Did you ask them about like demonic stuff and all that? No, I, I, I just asked them if they had any specific prayers. So I want to ask y'all a question. At night, when you guys are sleeping sometimes, right? Do you ever get like bad dreams or do you ever get attacked in your sleep sometimes? 
No, every, everything's good in the night. Do you have any struggles in your mind? No? No attacks, like, no like depression feelings, like feeling heavy, feeling like your energy's taken from you. Him? You feel that sometimes? So sometimes what that could be is a spirit. So a spirit could be attacking your life. And that what the enemy likes to do is assign like demons to attack us and stuff. That's why we need to be in Jesus so he can protect us. You know what I'm saying? So you just prayed for him for that already? No, I haven't. I didn't pray for that. No? How did you know that? He well, told you. He, he shook his head, yeah. He shook. Oh, he shook his head, yeah? yeah, yeah. Can, I, can I show you something? Yes, you, so you deal with depression sometimes? Yes, Let me pray for you. Come here. What's your name? Joel. Joel. Yes, I want you, if you believe in Jesus, I want you to say this, okay? Say, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I ask you right now. I ask you right now. To let your Holy Spirit come. To let your Holy Spirit come. And remove, and remove every spirit of depression. Every spirit of depression. Every spirit of comparison. Every spirit of comparison. That tries to come upon me. That tries to come upon me. I am made, I am made in, your image, in your image. And I accept that. And I accept that. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Your name's what again? Joel. Joel, watch this. Joel, I want to tell you this. The Lord has made you who you are. And he loves who you are. And I saw a season of your life when you really were comparing yourself to a lot of people. And it was there's a spirit was trying to make you feel less than. I feel your heart beating fast. Am I on it? Watch this. I command this spirit right now, this demonic thing that's attacked your life. I command it to come up and off of him now. Now let Joel go. Uh-huh. Wait. Leave him all the way. Leave him all the way. In Jesus' name. Any spirits of even ending his life that tried to come on him, that tried to speak to him, I command it to go. In the mighty name of Jesus. So everything that's attacked him, leave him completely. In Jesus' name. I felt something jump off, man, when I was praying. Did you feel that? Real, real talk, did you feel something? I felt it. What did you feel? I felt like lifting. Yeah. That's crazy, man. Listen, I believe that you will, you will not have to deal with that heaviness anymore. You know, Jesus loved you. He paid a big price for you. I believe he's delivered you to an extent. Just give your whole heart to him and follow him, you know? Jesus loves you guys, man. God bless you guys. Thank you, Thank you for letting me pray. Thank you. Yeah, God bless y'all. Y'all have a good night. Can you see me? Yep. Tonight was amazing. In Jesus' name. We prophesied. Demons were cast out. People were saved. People got filled with the Holy Ghost. I think I preached the gospel like 15 times. So I feel like that's a new record in one night for me. Praise God. I've been praying and saying, Lord, give me a greater effectiveness to preach the gospel. And he showed up. So it was it was awesome. And I'm like, you know, like when you get the Holy Ghost high, you, st you still see me, right? And you're like, <laughs> like, that's how I feel right now. I'm high on Jesus. Yo, guys, another night here in Daytona Beach. Jesus did his thing. My goodness, we had a lot of good encounters. Crazy crazy wild encounters make sure if it's your first time watching you guys subscribe hit the notification bell like and share because you care and just keep watching man i pray that you guys are learning to walk like jesus watching this and i pray that you will go out and affect your city your town your nation your state your country whatever i pray that you will walk out and look like jesus right where you are so i pray blessings over you guys and i'll see you on the next vlog in jesus name